Well, there's news being made tonight in two key races on the ballot in the general election this November. Maryland's first district U.S. House seat and in the race for governor. There is one Republican who is still working to try and stop the early counting of mail-in ballots. And there's one Democrat who's now up on TV looking to unseat Maryland's lone Republican in Congress. I usually vote straight Republican. I'm an independent voter, but we agree on one thing. Heather Mazier. In her fight to unseat Republican incumbent Andy Harris and flip Maryland's first district congressional seat back to blue, Democrat Heather Mazier up first on TV. Her campaign announcing the broadcast ad buy begins this week. Her fundraising um, is really off the charts in some ways, particularly compared to other Democrats who run that district. Political analyst and Goucher College pollster Dr. Malia Cromer says even after redistricting, winning this U.S. House seat remains an uphill battle for the Democratic nominee. She's one of the few Democrats, I think, that have the building blocks who is able to wage that battle. But again, it's going to be difficult to unseat an incumbent, particularly in a district that is just not favorable for Democrats. This comes as the Republican running for governor, state delegate and election denier Dan Cox was back in court to block the early counting of mail-in ballots. An attorney for Cox confirming to 11 News he's filed a notice of appeal after a judge ruled against Cox last week with an order allowing mailed ballots to be canvassed as early as October. October 1st. The new legal filing, essentially the first we've heard from Cox after he lost in court last week. Dr. Cromer pointing out a successful appeal on his part won't change the results. It will only delay the results. And I think if anything has shown, Marylanders and Americans in general, they don't like to wait. They want to know on election night. We may hear more from Dan Cox on this issue and others tonight. According to a tweet last week by the Morgan student paper, Dan Cox is supposed to be taking part in a gubernatorial forum that begins at 7 p.m. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News.